Hey there, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to take a look at syncing up my audio in OBS Studio. So currently I'm recording this in OBS Studio, and you'll notice that my audio from my mouth doesn't exactly match up with the audio that you're probably hearing. So what I have to do is I have to figure out if my audio is ahead or behind the visual. An easy way to do that is we can just do a peak event, so something like a clap, and then I can measure if the clap is happening before you hear it in your microphone or after. So let's just stop this and then take a look at editing this exact clip in something like Olive Studio Editor, and that way we can figure out exactly where the peak is and then adjust our settings accordingly. So I'll meet you over in Olive. Okay, I'm over here in Olive, and what I have to do is I'm just gonna grab this clip that we just recorded, I'm gonna pull it in to the project here, and then I'll pull this down into my timeline. Okay, and then I'm gonna look for the peak event. It looks like it's probably happening right about here. So right at this peak here, you can see my hands in the corner. So I should have maximized my video to make this a little easier. But you can see as we're right at the peak, so right about there, The peak hits before we actually complete the clap because you can see the, cl the clap is actually completed over here. So our audio is a little bit ahead of our video. Now what we can do over here in OBS Studio is we can come into our settings. So I'm over here and we have this audio mixer and where it says mic aux, you can come and click this little gear icon, the bottom right, and do advanced audio properties. In here you'll have an, a sync offset setting. So there's a little millisecond counter here and you could set the offset to something like probably, I don't know, maybe we need 200 milliseconds, something like that. And you can close it. And then you could try to record with that new setting and see if that's any better. So I'm gonna stop the recording and take a look and see if that helps. It looks like the audio might be synced up with the video a little better, but unfortunately there's some lag as I record this, so it's hard to really tell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to come back in here and I'll go to my settings and I'm gonna adjust my output settings. So you can go to settings here, output, and then in this section here, you wanna change this from simple to advanced. Now I can't do that because I'm recording right now, but you wanna change that and then there'll be a couple options and you wanna choose the recording option and then you wanna mess with some of the settings there. So let me go ahead and do that and then I'll hop back in and show you exactly what I've set things to. I just adjusted those settings. Let me expand this so we can see if this looks a little better. Hopefully the audio is matching up with my lips a little bit better and let me just go through and show you exactly the settings that I updated here. So I'm gonna to go to settings and output and under output, I changed this output mode to advanced and that gives us these different toggles here and under recording, I changed a couple things. So I changed my recording path. So I put this in the same folder I was recording to previously. And then I actually came in and I changed my encoder. So I set this as FFmpeg. It previously was using a streaming encoder. And then down here at the bottom, I changed the keyframe interval to two. This was previously zero. It seems to be a little bit better. So hopefully this worked for you as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so YouTube knows to share with other folks. And stay tuned to our channel for more content like this in the future. All right, take care.